Record is waving. Ernie Evans wins and Rusty spins and gets airborne and flips wildly right at the start finish line. Very reminiscent of his accident at Daytona. Picture and it looks there he is. Earnhardt right up on the back bumper of Rusty and he does touch him. That's and why around he goes. That's one reason that Dale Earnhardt went down there. That's why he was so concerned because he touched Rusty Wallace to start this situation, it looks like. And the car overturns about six or seven times, pirouetting on its nose, end over end, side over side, comes to a rest on its wheels. Earnhardt on the inside and Sterling Marlin outside. And Ernie going with uh, Earnhardt down on the inside. That's going to hit. Oh, he touched trouble. Terrible crash. Earnhardt. Front of the field, all torn up. Earnhardt's car destroyed. A major crash. Well, you can see Earnhardt is leading. Ernie Urban trying to pass the four car of Sterling Marlin. Touches him, shoots the left front of Marlin's car down into Earnhardt. Earnhardt into the wall. And then, since they were at the front of the pack, lots of other cars came along and got involved. He's up. He's up. That's a good sign, boys. He's walking. He's hurt his ribs. He's drafting help from Brian Vickers. They're going to go three wide behind him. It's McMurray, Harvick, and Keselowski three wide for the lead of the win. Joey Logano pushing Brad Keselowski. McMurray trying to get in line. He's going to get turned. Clint Boyer is going to turn him. And the flash is one guy upside down in the fence on fire as they race off turn number four. A wild crash Hold here. It. Holton car crash up in turn number four. A wild, wild crash to this one. It started with Jamie McMurray trying to slam that car down across the nose of Clint Boyer. He got turned and shot him up the racetrack, and it was on from there. And this end of the racetrack is littered with the debris. Damage. Brandon Brown got swept into that, and there's the double zero of Cole Custer. The 41 of Rhodes, the second truck up there on the outside. That's where it all started. Looked like well, he might have got a shove from the 17 of Timothy Peters. Well, I talked about how he's able to push so well. That means he's always up against the truck in front of him, and there isn't any room for Timothy to push him and push him ahead because he's already bottomed out against the truck in front of him, caused him to go sideways. Look at all that sheet metal flying through the air and those trucks grinding to a stop. doing what he's doing. He's just mirror driving all over the racetrack. Uh-oh, no trouble. Elliot Sadler over once and a half and on his roof. Now the car tumbling hard over the pavement in turn three. Caution is out. A terrible crash. Okay, man, okay. Okay. The attention already focused on the Elliot Sadler car. And here he comes out the window. Now that's great. Easy does it. Yeah, don't cut yourself. Oh, that's good to see. Guys, he's out. And these guys are Dyson. Go ahead, BP. And there he makes contact. He comes down trying to get in front of Kurt Busch. They make contact. Watch that thing fly. Now that lands on that road you talked about. And then when it gets onto the racetrack again, takes another nasty flip. Watch this hit. That's the hard one right here. Oh, man. God, they all look pretty hard. Yeah, they do. I don't want to be in there in any of them. Man. And like I said, that car really held up well above the driver. Kyle Busch's hopes reside with Brad Keselowski and his ability to push. Well, he's getting a nice push from him. Oh, 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 trouble! Harvick's around! Oh, got spun on the backstretch by the 43. How many is it going to collect? Oh, what a vicious crash! Eric McClure! Accident that began at the front of the pack. Jockeying for position to race for the win. 
ends with some heavily damaged cars. So the red flag is out in the middle of the first attempt at a green-white checker finish, a multi-car accident. Over in turn number three at the end of the backstretch. But the bulk of the concern remains focused around the Eric McClure car. After the hard, hard crash he took to that inside wall. Can Kozlowski try to win it? I don't know. I don't think he can step out until he waits till the last second and picks he up. He goes again. Go outside. Is Edwards going to oh, no. He turns it. No. No. Oh, and that no. destroyed the front end of Newman's car. No. Edwards will not make it to the flag. Oh. Carl did the, what he wanted to do. He stayed at the back all day long. He played it smart. Had this race possibly won. Not now. Take a look, Mike. Carl Edwards, he opened it up just a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think uh, this is a hard lick right into the fence. I mean, that car, that wow. looked like Bobby Allison did here in 1987. Carl went up to block him a little bit. Now he's going to come down and try to block him again. And you can get one shot at it, but you don't get two. Watch this. What a lick. Oh, my gosh. gosh. Unbelievable. Here comes that 98 and the 88 tandem in the middle of the track. Johnny Sauter, he won at Daytona earlier this year. Can he do it again? They wreck behind him. They're rolling behind him. Now the 88 spins. Thor Sport is going to win. It's going to be Johnny Sauter that will get the win, but they wreck behind him. Matt Crafton has not got to the start finish line yet. The 32 of Miguel Paluta was upside down. It's on fire now.